290 as simply as for inventor. In the previous tutorial, we showed you how to use the mate constraint, and it's called mate here, and it's shown to the left tree. If you hover over it, so you know where is your mate done. So you see that plane and the face of the disk. So now let's move to the next type of constraints angle. So where you are able to create an angle constraint between two surfaces. So we have this surface now is fixed. This part is not going to move into angle because it is prior to the Y set plane. But this disk is able to be rotated and get an angle. Now let's select that face and this face. So here you have this apply is unactivated. That means this type of mate is not available for this position. And now you are able to unrated angle. So you see the apply is activated so that constraint is working in this position and here you have the angle let's add an angle of 90 degree so you notice the face rotated 90 degrees so now you see this is how it works but i'm not going to have this shape but i'm going to show just how to use the angle mate just cancel also you can make an angle constraint between this face and this face this cancel we made a mate so let's select the angle select the axis of that connector or small cylinder and this face select this and let's make an angle of 30 degree so you are able to select the axis of that cylinder it's not only the face so just click cancel but I don't want this made because I want it to be later to be parallel to this face when we are inserting that is coming in the next type of face so click cancel so this is how you can use the angle constraint 